Hello everyone, I'm Bhuvi from Solace Art Psychotherapy and I'm, and I'm an art therapist. So uh, today I'm going to be uh, introducing uh, the materials that we use in art therapy. Uh, the minute we say art therapy, uh, a lot of people will be thinking that uh, it is going to be like paint or drawing or you know you need to be good in art. So there's a lot of traditional medium that is what people think about. But uh, if, if you could see uh, at the table, there's uh, quite a wide range of materials displayed here. But uh, just to share, uh, this is just a fraction of the amount of materials that we use at our therapy space. So I just brought a bit of uh, almost everything. We tried our best to kind of share the importance of uh, the wide range of materials used in our therapy sessions. So um, maybe I will begin with sharing um, the importance of materials first then I go on uh, dividing into the different categories and then I'll explain further so I'll do my best this is based on uh, my experience and the practice at Solace Art Psychotherapy so you can do art therapy with just the traditional medium that's, uh, that's this perfectly fine and it also um, has its own uh, power of bringing certain emotions out but uh, we will also explain why we use a wide range of materials okay so let me first divide the materials into two parts so I call it the traditional medium and the non-traditional medium so talking about traditional medium there is the of course the paint the soft pastels um, pen crayons uh, oil pastels watercolor these are all the traditional mediums that we know about that we can use to draw to create an art but we also have non-traditional mediums like you can you might be wondering why there's like a <laughs> egg crate here but it is uh, we use different types of mediums that's found at home sometimes we call it found objects sometimes we call it um, non-traditional mediums like things that you can find like boxes bottles um, toilet rolls and um, you can also use stones and dried leaves so we have some um, dried um, flowers here that we actually have more in the space we have stones we have pebbles we have saga seeds we have weeks and the list goes on so I'm not going to list it all out but um, so let me first uh, explain how um, it is important to bring different mediums to session so the first primary goal is of course to get our clients to be able to express themselves so expressing themselves of course you can express through drawing writing talking but sometimes certain emotion that cannot be described that doesn't have a word for it is best expressed in through the mediums that we have. So sometimes uh, clients might need a mirror. Like, you know, I need a mirror. I want to reflect. I want to show. Then where do we go for a mirror? So sometimes we use like, uh, I'm not sure how many of you know, do you have the CD? So we actually use a CD to kind of use that as a mirror. So to be able to express exactly how they feel. So it's important to have a wide range. I mean, this is what we believe here at Solace. So, um, for a first, first session, for a start of a first session, usually when clients come for our session, they often feel uh, like, a, uh, because they don't know what to expect. So they often feel like, uh, what do I expect? Do I need to bring my own materials? Do I need to like uh, draw? I'm not good at art. So these are some questions that uh, our clients or inquiries uh, comes through um, various uh, platforms. And when these questions come, all we tell them is that materials provided. And second, you don't need to be good in art or uh, you don't need to like art even. Uh, so it's purely see it as a tool. It's like a screwdriver, you know, nobody needs to like it, but you need to use it as a tool, right? So similarly, we use art materials as a form of tool to express and uh, share uh, what exactly is going on with you. So um, similarly, uh, on, uh, during the first session, what we tend to do is that we often uh, ease our clients into the art making process why is this important because i have been working with youths i have uh, seen how children work with, uh, through art therapy and i also work with adults and elderly so i have a wide ex wide range of experience with different age group and i noticed that different age group uh, kind of interact differently to different art mediums so children they are usually quite open to picking everything and whatever they like youths are quite similar they are willing to explore and 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 happy to pick whatever they want to use at that moment so they're pretty intuitive whereas adults tend to have uh, they you often feel very intimidated maybe probably because the last time they touched 
art materials or even engaged in art making probably in their primary or secondary school uh, days. So that could be about maybe 10 years or 20 years. So because of that, there's a lot of resistance in the idea of art making or expressing through art. So they often feel very intimidated or worried. So what we tend to do in uh, on the first session is actually to kind of have the intake first to kind of exp um, kind of explain to them what is art therapy, how it works, and then uh, we will introduce some materials to them, the shelf, and then we will also share with them that uh, the first session, of course, is very introductory, right? So we will actually um, give kind of ease them into art making. We will actually introduce a uh, picture collage. So picture collage is what uh, is basically picking pictures from either magazines or a box that we have a full of uh, cutouts. So they will actually select, go through the pictures and select uh, the kind of pictures that they want to introduce themselves with. Either things that they like, dislike or you know um, anything that reaches out to them. It could be even a, a memory. So this is an example of a picture collage that uh, we often have. Actually it's a wide range. We have two boxes of collection. And then uh, this is just a sample for you guys to see. So by easing them into the art making session. So first, on the first session they don't get to draw. So it kind of eases off their artistic skills or to having that fear that, oh, I'm going to be judged based on my, uh, uh, how I draw. So um, to ease them of all these thoughts, we actually get them to select the pictures and paste it onto a drawing block or a A4 size paper, depends on what size they pick. So that's how we begin. So by doing that first uh, art making session at Solus, um, we actually kind of get them to experience what art therapy is and how art therapy works. So once they get the idea, oh, this is how it is. So the first part is the art making, and the second part is the sharing of the artwork. And through the sharing and their art, the way they have done their artwork, uh, often we get a lot of insightful information. And even uh, the process, like what we always emphasize on, the final artwork is not everything. It's not what we always look out for. What we look out for is the creative process. The entire process of making the art is the key. So starting off with picture collage often eases them into the session and once they ease into the session they understand how art therapy works then we could go further into addressing other difficult um, emotions or, or difficulties that they are facing in life. So that's uh, just an example. Of course when I talk about non-traditional medium we also have we also use cards so I uh, just want to introduce a uh, stones story through stones basically these are card decks that we have, we uh, sometimes will use uh, in sessions. This is actually um, uh, by my colleague. So thanks to her for contributing this to Solace. So we actually have these um, pictures where um, each stone has an image that uh, it depends on what you see. So it's really very intuitive. It uh, reduces the ability to create something on your own and so on. So. Um, so these stones will actually will then uh, give them an opportunity to pick the, the kind of images that they are drawn to for whatever reason, whatever they are working on. And then from there, we'll be able to then narrate a story or narrate or give them that space to express themselves pertaining to whatever that they are going through. So other than that, we also use... Um, bottle caps and uh, we also use uh, boxes and bottles so these non-traditional mediums are pretty powerful is because we have um how do i put this so it acts like a container so you know it's to contain whatever it could be contain emotions it could be contain the situation you know whatever it could mean to that person it could be a safe space so um whatever it is boxes have been very powerful based on our experience thus far so we've been collecting a lot of boxes so it could be different sizes we also have the huge ones some have even made like castles out of the boxes that we have so storage has been a problem but yes that is uh, every art therapist problem i think they could relate to what i can, i'm sharing right now so uh so yeah boxes uh for it's really a, a very powerful um, material, uh, I would say, in sessions. Uh, bottles as well, in terms of containing either it's a clear bottle or, or, or covered boxes. So these are some uh, materials that we have used in our session. And uh, talking about um, 
non-traditional material and traditional material i also would like to highlight like certain materials why our therapists may not introduce on the first session because uh, like i mentioned earlier we use picture collage to kind of ease them into the session but why not use paint i mean of course some may naturally drawn to paint that's fine but uh, based on my experience and based on certain research that's done is that different materials elicit different kinds of info emotion emotions so for example paint watercolor they are very fluid so the amount of control you have uh, over paint is definitely much less than a marker or a chalk or a or a or a pen you know the amount of control that you have so on those situations where we feel that maybe our clients might need more control over the situation sometimes we may introduce um, more um, con materials that they have better control over versus a paint or a um, watercolor so um, so there are many many layers to just introducing materials so um, i hope with this sharing um, we have covered at least quite a bit uh, based on my experience and uh, what we are doing at solace of course there's more to it and i think the list can go on so i hope this uh, gives a very good uh, introduction to why it's important to use a wide range of materials in uh, our therapy sessions thank you